and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where today I'm here at the Great Dorset Steam Fair. I've never been to this event before and it's somewhere that I've always wanted to come and check out. So I'm really excited for it. It covers 600 acres and it's actually the largest steam fair of its kind anywhere in the world. There's a variety of steam engines, lots of different rides to get on and entertainment here as well. I'm honestly so excited to finally be here. I've seen so many photos and videos of it from all over the years. So it's great to actually be here, see it in person and of course document it all and film a vlog here on the channel too. I thought the perfect place to start my day here will be with a ride on the Ferris wheel just to appreciate the scale of this event. It runs across five days and yeah I just got a day ticket today that cost £25 however they do a five day ticket lots of people camp here as well. You got the monster trucks down there there's lots of different arenas and shows and demonstrations going on there's lots of different food and market stalls and yeah it's not just steam engines you've got traction engines you've got miniature railways um, you've got lots of different other displays here as well and of course the huge fun fair over here as well with some pretty unique looking attractions that of course I'll be taking you on but yeah 25 pounds it's cost to come in for the day and obviously you pay extra for the rides uh, so it can get quite an expensive day uh, but you know what it's somewhere that I've always wanted to come and check out the perfect way to start my visit here to the Great Dorset Steam Fair with a ride there on the big wheel five pounds to ride it was on there about seven minutes or so which was good and yeah you really get to appreciate the size of this event it is absolutely huge it really is and yeah I can see now why they do a five-day ticket and people come down here camping I can really understand that now I've seen it here for the first time because the size of it is crazy oh, I love these organs I've already seen loads just walking down to this area here and yeah just look at the scale of this place absolutely incredible it really is and yeah gonna be having a stroll around see some of the exhibits as well and of course getting on rides throughout the day as well but yeah look at this like such a unique atmosphere it's kind of like Carter's steam fair but on a bigger scale like it is massive this place and obviously it's not just all older rides here they've got a variety of more modern rides and attractions here as well but I know somewhere they've actually got the wall of death uh, and loads of other little side shows like that as well such as this over here balloon modeler but yeah like you say you pay 25 pounds to come in for the day but there's so much here to see like loads to pack in and it's actually open through until midnight as well with entertainment going on um, which is awesome and yeah i got here um, this morning got parked up about nine o'clock had a little stroll around and the ride started to come on about lunchtime here as well <laughs> Nice live show going on just there as well and that's the thing with this event there is so much happening all throughout the day and into the evening as well. There, here's a look at some more beautiful vintage funfair attractions. The gallopers just there, got the chair plane, they've actually got some steam yachts just up there, there's a skids just down there on the right hand side and a cakewalk over there as well. Now originally at this event they were going to be premiering for the first time in the UK the Rockets, an absolutely huge travelling ride that I've been looking forward to getting on. However, unfortunately, due to some technical issues, yeah, it's not actually come to the event, which is a shame. However, hopefully, we'll have to get on there at some point in the future. Uh, the fact I've never been here before, though, means I've got so much to see and lots of rides to get on and just capturing the overall atmosphere of it, really. Yeah, everybody here is so passionate about what they do and bringing everything along for people to see. There's nowhere else in the world where you can see a collection quite like this. So just off to the right of the funfair, you've got the kind of main avenue that runs down the middle just here of the event. So yeah, with lots of different shops and places to get food. There's a supermarket I've just gone past down there as well. Eat your fruit and veg. Obviously people who are camping here, I think the campsite's open Tuesday to Tuesday, so you can spend a week camping here if you do want to. And obviously the actual event runs across five days. But you've got loads of stalls to look around. I mean, look at the size of this place. Yeah, it attracts actually over 200,000 visitors during the five-day run, which is pretty incredible. 
Well, I just thought I'd show you a map of the event here as well, which really shows you the scale of it. Yeah, I'm parked down here on the Blandford car park. Luckily, because I got here early, I'm kind of down here on the front. But yeah, it's a big slopey field, this. So yeah, I'd recommend getting here nice and early and came in through the entrance here. And of course, you've got the main avenue that I was just walking down just. And then yeah, the fun fair, which is off to the left here as well. However, they've actually got a few smaller rides in a couple of different areas as well from what I saw just up on the big wheel. But yeah, you've got so much to see, all the different arenas and stages. It really is incredible. There's classic cars, there's horses, there's agricultural vehicles here, uh, steam plowing. Honestly, there is so much, something for everyone here and all generations. Yeah, I just wanted to show you that map just to really show you the scale of this place. I think the atmosphere is gonna be absolutely electric here tonight, especially because they've got all the stages and live bands around as well. Yeah, I think that's gonna be awesome. I love live music and it's the combination of lots of my interests as well here, which is great. It's not just about the rides, it's about the steam engines, about the shows and entertainment, the little performances that are going on. Incredible. Yeah, you've got the Magic Mouse coaster over here. I'm back up just by the Ferris wheel now. However, this is a pretty standard coaster that you can find in a lot of places. But there's a roller coaster just around this corner called the Toboggan that is certainly a lot more unique. So yeah, come and check this out. I've really been looking forward to getting back on this. It's been a long time. And to be honest, I had no idea we still have one traveling around here in the UK. I thought they were long gone, but no. A Chance Industries toboggan, one of only 32 ever built. And yeah, these were built in the late 60s, early 70s. And yeah, look at this. Massive ultimate helix all the way around. It actually features the vertical lift in the middle. Chance were the pioneers of that, really. You know, late 60s vertical lift hill inside the tube just there. And the helix all the way around. <laughs> Look at the profile of this. Oh, I'm so excited to get on this. Yeah, when I found out this was going to be here, I was really over the moon because it's been a long time. And I've barely been on these. Yeah, I've only done a couple before. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting on this toboggan. So I'll take you along with a nice POV. Hey, here we go then, so I'm inside, I'm ready, <laughs> let's go. It's actually the second time they've had this out this year. See, so very unique, look at this. <laughs> but yeah, it hasn't really got an over shoulder restraint, but your head does touch the roof in this. And you got the bar over here. What a view, here we go, Helix, Helix, Helix. <laughs> Imagine doing it all the way down. Oh! Yeah, the second time it's been out this year, it's just been sat in a yard. So I'm looking to get it. Oh my god. Yes, you got a bit of force. <laughs> I love going on these unique attractions like this. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Oh, blimey! Oh, it's a good job he's got padding. Oh, <laughs> oh look at it. It's a bargain. Yeah, look at this. In fact, let me turn the camera around. There you go. Like my head is on the padding just there. Oh, that is crazy. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. Is your head all right? It is. <laughs> well, it's been a number of years since I've been on one of these toboggan coasters. I'll tell you what, I really enjoy getting on there again. And yeah, actually, it wasn't as rough as you'd expect for a ride that's as old as it is. And yeah, the design of it, like I say, with the vertical lift hill, just inside the tower there, very unique in its time. But yeah, I really enjoy getting on the toboggan coaster just there. You've really got to make the most of these unique rides and roller coasters when you see them around as well, especially the older ones, because you don't know where or when you're going to see them or if you're going to get to experience them again. So now I really enjoy getting on there. And yeah, like I say, it may not be the most comfortable with the seating system, but it's certainly not rough. I mean, the track profiling on there looks awful from off ride. When you get on it, it's not too bad. It even offers a few little pops of air time. Well, there you go. That's the toboggan down here at the great Dorset Steam Fair. I know it's been coming here for quite a while now so hopefully that's set to continue because it's a really unique ride to have here in the UK. There's a huge selection of fun fair rides here as well and I'm sure for a lot of people the highlight of coming to this steam fair is to see all the traction engines and different exhibits however it's great how there's something here for everyone and yeah you don't really hear about it much up our way obviously I'm based nearly four hours away from here uh, but I'd imagine down south and especially um, down here in Dorset it's a huge thing and yeah it's a brilliant event I'm really enjoying it so far I'm going to come back and do some more rides later on 
because there's so much to see here and yeah I want to document as much of it as I can do. I know they've actually got like a little models tent just down this way, lots of different miniatures so I'm hoping they've got some miniature funfair rides in there, they normally do and that sort of thing so I'm going to go and check that out next. And yeah, like I say, the event runs until midnight, so I think the funfair rides are going to be going well into the night, and the atmosphere is going to be even more electric. But yeah, I'm going to walk down this way, try and find this miniature tent. I'll tell you what, you can easily get lost in this place. I'm glad they've got lots of maps around. It is absolutely huge, and there is so much here to see. I can definitely see now why they do the five-day ticket, and people come camping down here for the week. Uh, amazing. Yeah, I think I'm heading in the right direction. I think it's just down this way on the right hand side what I'm looking for. Hey, look at the little miniature train over here. <laughs> we only about a five minute walk from the fun fair and into the miniatures tent just here now. Lots of different models. Oh, look at this. Wow, look at this. All the fun of the fair. All the music and the lights, oh, that's wonderful. Love the orgo, and yeah, look at this carousel just up here as well. That is gorgeous. Oh, it's amazing in here. I love seeing all the models. And yeah, of course, a huge part of the fun fair the vehicles that travel it round and yeah you can see just here Pat Collins amusements the mini flyers just there as well yeah what a beautiful collection in here oh look at this the wall of death just over there there is an actual wall of death here somewhere I've not seen it yet probably somewhere over where the rides are yeah this is nice a little cafe there as well oh that is awesome just look at the details on some of their stuff. These are absolutely tiny, but the details on them are amazing. Some of the best fairground models I've ever seen. And yeah, the ultimate connects Ferris wheel just over here as well. Look at that. Wow, all the movement. This is really cool. And yeah, that's great with the lights on there as well. I must have took some transporting to get that here. That is awesome. Love the Bacano cage just over there. That was awesome. And yeah, look at this Gallopers just here. Built throughout 2017 and 2018. Yes, yeah, so this is relatively new. Yeah, look at the scale of that. That is gorgeous. It's huge. Imagine that in your living room on display. That is amazing. Just all the details on there. Well that was awesome there in the model tent and yeah the amount of time and dedication that's gone into producing all those models absolutely fantastic but yeah definitely worth heading in there if you are coming down to this event in the future uh, but yeah that was brilliant and yeah my favorite probably that awesome gallopers to be honest I thought that was amazing and the fact it's quite new as well must have took a long time to make that like I say this event is so much more than just the steam engines you've got lots of different vehicles here as well and so much to see, really is something for everyone. And yeah, if we come through just here, see one of the arenas that they've got. Yeah, they've got quite a few different arenas, and yeah, I'm looking forward to some entertainment later on as well. Gonna be staying right through until the end. There's a live band on tonight. Well, there's loads of live music here, but yeah, there's a band that sounds really good tonight, so I'm gonna be checking that out. And just the smell here as well. And yeah, a lot of demonstrations going on. Like you see, they're chopping the wood just here. Oh, this is amazing. They've got a section that's all dedicated to the wars as well. So I'm going to be checking that out because apparently that's really interesting to see. And yeah, that's somewhere down at the other end. I have to consult the map again for that one. But yeah, it spans across 600 acres this place. So it's bigger than Alton Towers. That's 500 acres. So yeah, just to give you a bit of an idea on the size of it. Obviously, there's a lot of campsites and car parks as well. But yeah, I'm just blown away by the scale of it and just seeing everybody coming together seeing all this. It's British history, isn't it? Just hearing the sound of all this working machinery. 
pretty awesome. This is cool, you got the mini monster trucks just over here as well. Look at that. Oh, I'd have loved that when I was a kid. I was an adult in over there as well. Oh, well, there you go, why not? <laughs> That's great fun. kid I've always loved fairground organs I can listen to them all day and they just add so much to the atmosphere of fun fairs and attractions and yeah I've seen so many fairground organs here today more than I've ever seen like it's amazing it's not just the sound of them it's the look of them as well absolutely beautiful yeah it's not just the main fun fair down the other end of course there's loads more rides to show you down there and I'll be going on some more as well there you've got the mini fun fair just down at this side as well with a few children's attractions. Well, if you're coming to this event in the future, you're certainly not going to go hungry and thirsty. There's so many different places for food and drink here. Lots of beer tents as well. I'm sure a lot of people will be consuming some nice beers whilst they're out here enjoying the event. And why not? That's what it's all about for many people here. It's just a social gathering as well. Yeah, you've got loads of motorbikes down in this section and yeah again it shows you the size because there's the main part of the fun fair the other side of the ferris wheel there yeah all the way back honestly you do, what a good few days if you want to see everything here even the full run i can completely understand that now this is kind of like a little taster if you like yeah all the motorbikes down here so many different interests for so many people all come together at this event And just coming back to the map here as well now, I'm currently down here next to arena number two. And yeah, literally all I've shown you is some of the main avenue here, veered off to see the models and a little bit around here. Uh, yeah, you can walk all the way around this section, then all up to the top here, down the bottom. And then yeah, later on, I'm going to be heading over here to see the World War One and World War Two displays, because apparently that is one of the highlights of the event here. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing that over there, all of the exhibits that are on display over here into the vintage car section now so let's have a little walk around here oh this one's fancy look at the colors on the front just there yeah such an impressive collection of vintage cars here a little bull car just here look at that <laughs> i don't think i've ever seen one of them before A little bit further along now and here's a look in one of the craft tents just here yeah where you've got lots of different stalls with items that are on sale i really had no idea there was going to be this much variety it's very impressive to see uh, look at it in here it stretches all the way down literally hundreds of stalls and the same on the outside just here as well well i'm right down at the other end of the great dorset steam fair now and yeah we've got all the lovely horses just over there and yeah it's very agricultural down in this section we've got all the horses off to the left and also as well lots of farming equipment and machinery in fact there's loads of tractors all across the top there lots of different wagons and these beautiful horses down here in this arena he also wears a bearing right Well, they've even got a fantastic selection of old excavators here as well, which is quite fascinating, especially being from the town where JCB was founded, Utoxeter. Yeah, I quite like seeing some of these. Look at that. During World War II, all the tractors and bulldozers were used by the military in Europe, Asia, and the Pacific. An extremely useful vehicle and prized by the army units. Wow, look at all these tanks just there. Now we're getting bare rating. What position is now? Um, firing off. Back 
really impressive seeing that just there and yeah the speed as well that it can go is quite surprising actually um, but yeah I just wanted to say I've been here about three hours and I've nearly rocked up 13,000 steps already it's pretty flat around it's not really too hilly however yeah you do a hell of a lot of walking if you come in here so bear that in mind if you are coming down in the future I tell you what though I am loving it so far and shortly I'm gonna be getting on some more rides look at this fruit truck just here that's really cool I like all the details on there a really quirky ice cream van. Look at the shape of that. <laughs> it's different, isn't it? We're going to head back up this way now onto the main avenue. Take a left. Make my way down to the fun fair. Good thing is you always find the fun fair. Just look out for that Ferris wheel. <laughs> right then, back up here in the fun fair now. And yeah, going to go on a few more rides and also show you some more of the attractions they've got here as well. There is quite a lot of repeat rides. Such as I've seen loads of fun houses, ghost trains, and dodgems. Well, I'm looking forward to Rock Rage. I'm gonna have a go on there next. I love that ride. Yeah, it's just up here. You can see it in action. You got Midnight Express, Matterhorn Rise. Just up to the right there as well. And yeah, there's loads of ghost trains. I think I've done some of them before, but there's quite a few that I haven't. That's the thing, you know, I'm about four hours away from here, so I'd imagine a lot of these rides normally travel around the fun fair circuit down south obviously i normally do the fairs up north or in the midlands yeah you got the star flyer ride just over there as well and of course got some of the more vintage attractions down here that i'll definitely have a go on but yeah gonna go on rock rage now oh there's a tagger over here as well there you go what a selection of rides well here we go then on rock rage and let's hope we're in for a good cycle it was six pounds to ride yeah, the rides are quite expensive. I think the toboggan was all right at four pound. But yeah, the big wheel, that was five. And yeah, this was six. Well, here we go. Let's see what sort of cycle we get on this. And yeah, you got some of the nice vintage funfair rides just off to the side here as well. The cycle's really long on that tagada. I've just been watching it. It's been going for about six minutes, I'd say. Maybe longer than that. There you got the sizzler just next door here as well. Lots of other classics. Hey! Great thing about Rock Rage, it goes all the way over, 360 degrees. Nice comfy lap bars on this as well. Woo! Yeah, they don't dig into you too much. Obviously, you have still got the over the shoulder. I made it sound like it was just a lap bar then. It is an over the shoulder restraint, but what I mean is the actual bit that sits on your lap here, this doesn't dig in too much, even though it's quite bulky. Rock Rage. But yeah, it's a shame that the rocket didn't come here. Well, there's a few rumours saying that it might be going to some of the bigger fairs, possibly Hull Fair. So see that's coming up in October. But yeah, looking forward to that. Woo! We haven't been all the way over yet. Oh, I think we're gonna be now, we're building up. Yeah, quite a few walls is here, pirate ship. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> So the extreme power, we're gonna get it, here we go! Oh, what a view! I think I just see my car. And my shoelace needs a uh, tie in there as well. Oh, that's it. All the way up. Whoa! Wow, what a view! Literally, thousands of people, thousands of cars, thousands of tents. What an event! Yeah, something for everyone here. Oh, hang time. Woo! And yeah, obviously I've got Adventure Sean as well as the other channel. And there's parts of this that would have gone on Adventure Sean, but I thought, no, we've got, it's the theme park worldwide, this one. With it having rides here as well. And a lot of machinery and fun fair history. It belongs on this channel. Woo! Woo! I tell you what though, if you were coming for more than one day, you'd spend a fortune. I think that £25 to come in is good though. With how much there is. Hey, oh! That's it, unlock the gondolas so we get a bit of tilted. Woo! <laughs> hey! Oh, we got a pretty decent cycle, so that's good. Oh! <laughs> I like it on the unlock the gondolas. Just on there. Yeah, I've been going for, what, three minutes? Yeah, I think six pounds for three minutes. I can take that. That was good. Woo! 
That's it, lock the gondolas, end of the ride. Just had an awesome ride there then on Rock Rage. And yeah, it was a good long cycle, about three and a half minutes, which was good. And you're not gonna believe what I've just seen over here. Come and have a look at this. Awesome was that literally steam locomotive on the back of a wagon being paraded through the event like that's amazing it really is yeah, you got an old traditional ferris wheel down here as well chipperfield's helter skelter the beautiful color scheme just over there and yeah we got the steam yachts just down here i love them at carters so yeah i've got to give these ones a go the beautiful steam yachts talking of carters i'm surprised that they don't come to this actually and set up for the week here i mean surely for them it will be very profitable i'm surprised that they don't do that actually even though they've already got a lovely selection of rides here carters would have really complimented this event in my opinion but yeah let's go and have a little ride over on the steam yachts just down here another classic great atmosphere and the toboggan coast is pretty busy over there you got the mystical mirror maze and somewhere around here i was chatting with a fan earlier who says that they've actually got the wall of death around here somewhere so yeah i'll have to find that energizer just over there miami ride transylvania express ghost train quite a few ghost trains that they've got here but yeah i love these steam yachts and there's such a lovely smell here as well all the machinery oh and the cake walk right next to it there as well brilliant harry lee steam yachts Look at this, gorgeous. Here we go then, on the steam yachts just here. They're set right on the back here as well, so you're gonna push for your feet forwards. Just here, of course, I'm holding on to the netting just behind as well. Whee! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, some good airtime on these. Woo! £2.50 to ride. Hey! <laughs> Woo! Oh! <laughs> I do love these. Hey! There we go, getting steep now. Oh! <laughs> yeah, if you're coming on these, you definitely want to be on the end just there. I do love how there's no seat belts or anything, no lap bars required. Hey! <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Brilliant fun. Woo! <laughs> Just for your bum lifting out the seat, get some good air. Hey! Oh, here we go, speeding up now. Hey! Here we go! Hey! <laughs> Full steam ahead now. Hey! <laughs> Good cycle for 250. Whoa! Woo! Hey! You gotta hold on tight. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> really have to use some force to stay holding on. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Woo, what a great cycle. Oh, that was loud. And there you go, the steam yacht. It's brilliant. Woo. Oh, I do love the classic steam yachts there. And a fantastic cycle. It was on there about five minutes, which was good. And yeah, I love just seeing all of these vintage rides running here at the Great Dorset Steam Fair. Well, yeah, I'm next, going on the classic cakewalk just over here. Hey, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> £2.50 to come here on the cakewalk. Oh, look at this. Hey, oh. <laughs> There's a good bit of air time on this. Hey. Yeah, I just love seeing all this working machinery. Yeah, it combines a lot of my interests in one. Like, I do love steam, and just coming here and seeing all this is fantastic. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this is fantastic. It's probably the best one of these I've been on, to be honest. Feels really well maintained and looked after. 
Yeah, just look at the Asia there. It's like, oh, all the wood down here at the side. Oh, it's great. And you've seen all the traction engines and steam engines and oh, it's amazing. What a great atmosphere. Oh, it's not easy holding the camera when you're on this. It's a really forceful one, this. Oh, halfway around. I do love it. But yeah, as much as the modern funfair rides are fantastic, we there's something about these older attractions, the nostalgia of them that I do really like. But yeah, up next I'm going to leave the funfair and go and check out the World War 1 and 2 area as well. It's located down the far left of the site. We're looking at a map. Whee! <laughs> so yeah, go and check that out next. Because apparently you actually go down in the trenches as well. Which is quite cool. I don't know how that works. But yeah, we're going to check out that. So yeah, that's going to be coming up next. And then of course we'll be heading into the evening. And yeah, seeing all the lights come on tonight. Seeing some of the entertainment, the bands. It's going to be a fantastic atmosphere here tonight. That I'm really looking forward to. Don't think the skid's open at the moment, so I have to come back for that one later on. And of course, we're we doing a couple more rides tonight as well down here in Dorset. Whee! <laughs> really good one, Matt. Woo! Look at this, it's absolutely awesome. Yeah, the cakewalk dates back to 1896. A real piece of funfair history. And another lovely organ over here as well. Got a little animatronic down here at the side as well. That's cool. Whee! These organs just keep appearing absolutely everywhere. Beautiful. This one's really grand. Look at that. Another ghost train just down here, and King Crazy Circus Funhouse off to the left there as well. And yeah, just off to the right here, got the world famous Wall of Death, of course, with the motorbikes going all the way around on the wall. There we go, good to see that here. As you can see, next performance, three o'clock. Yeah, if I get a chance, may have to go and see that later on. The Wall of Death, and just here as well, the Grand Palace of Entertainment, home of the freak show just here. Look at this. So they do family shows and also as well, they do the evening adult shows just over here. <laughs> He's the guy who was at uh, Tully's Farm at Shocktoberfest. Beautiful pieces of kit, these. Wow. And so well looked after and maintained as well. Another organ just down here. And this looks good fun, yeah, charity trailer ride just over here. Two pound adults, one pound for children. Supporting charities, yeah, the Dorset County Hospital Charities. So yeah, you know what, let's give this a go. Go into a good cause, have a little trailer ride round. Here we go. Just seeing all this working machinery is absolutely spectacular. I've never seen anything quite like it. I've been to a few steam fairs over the years up by us, but nothing on this scale. It's incredible. And yeah, this is the main show arena here that we're driving through just here now as well.
way to feel part of the action, touring around the main arena there for about 15 minutes, which was great. And then, yeah, getting to see so many wonderful traction engines up close and in action there as well. Yeah, that was great fun. And of course, supporting a wonderful charity as well. Tell you what, it's a great afternoon though now. Started off a bit gloomy this morning. Um, but yeah, it's gorgeous now. It's a good job the weather's nice really, especially with it all being on fields just here. Wouldn't be very pleasant if it was throwing it down with rain. We're going to head down this way, down towards the right, towards the World War One and Two area, which I think, according to the map, is somewhere down here. Or at least I hope so. <laughs> nice little viewing platform just here. You can see some of the smaller engines just here as well. It's great because you teach the kids how to drive them as well. Which is really cool, the Steam Apprentice Club, I believe it's called. And yeah, more organs, they're everywhere. There's a smaller one over there, another one just here. Amazing. Yeah, it's good up here because you get nice and close, these traction engines. Oh, there's that loco going round again over there as well. But there's loads of demonstrations going on. And yeah, you got some roadworks happening just over here. Using all the old machinery, of course. Yeah, oh, it's amazing really makes you appreciate our history and yeah just seeing all this in action incredible there you go roadworks look a little bit different nowadays and here we go i've made it now down to the world war one and two area which is all just around here so yeah gonna have a little stroll around got the church stage just over there as well oh wow look at these displays just here the details on them all the cars and the buildings. I wonder if these buildings are here all the time. Gotta be, surely. Yeah, they're permanent foundations, aren't they? We'll just leave them set up here throughout the year. Public air raid shelter. Huge tank just over there. Blimey. It really makes you realise what it was like during World War One and Two. Look at the car just at the top. Oh, these are great displays. Look at this. And there's the stage just over there as well. You see more arms, little pub. You see on the right. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? So many places for food and drink. The stage is really nice, the design there, isn't it? I love that. Like the broken windows on the front. And danger, an exploded bomb just over here to the side. Look at that. Yeah, this is really well done around here. You get a great view looking back over the fair as well. And again, just the size of it. Oh, look at all this. Really impressive how they set all this up. So realistic. Yeah, this must be set up here all the time, surely, looking at it. And yeah, I think the trenches are somewhere just around here as well. So yeah, probably going to have to queue up a little bit for those, I'd imagine. But yes, yeah, a must do if you're coming to this event, I've been told. So we'll definitely go and check it out. Here we go then, down into the trench. Waiting about 15 minutes. Yeah, it does get quite busy. We've got a lot of people showing you around. And yeah, this doesn't cost any extra. It's including your admission here to the steam fair. Look at this. Oh, look at him just here. We've got some rats as well. <laughs> Well, that was really interesting. It was actually about a 35 minute experience there. Yeah, meeting lots of different people down in the trench, telling you all about the history of it and how it works, showing you the supplies. And yeah, seeing the front line there as well. Yeah, really interesting experience and definitely worth doing if you are coming down here because like I say it's also included in the cost. We are back down here at the main arena now as you can see. More awesome machinery. Yeah that's the thing it's just a con continuous thing around here. All the traction engines and other vehicles. Beautiful to see and it's a gorgeous afternoon for it as well. Well I've just walked up a hill and you get an amazing view looking out over the traction engines, the machinery, 
and across the fair there as well. Yeah, you can see the fun fair straight down, and of course, all the different exhibits and arenas off to the right hand side. But yeah, just seeing all these vehicles in motion. Obviously, I've never been here before, and I didn't realize that you'd have so much going on. I was expecting most things to just be parked up to look at, but the fact you can see things actually moving around, really impressive. And this is another huge area up here as well. As you can see with all the different trailers, more traction engines, another huge place to explore. I can really see now why they say, come for a few days, camp out here, come and experience it all, because if this is your sort of thing, you're gonna really enjoy it. And like I say, I find it fascinating. I don't know loads about steam and of course traction engines. However, something that I've always really liked. But yeah, coming here combines a lot of my interests. Obviously, primarily I'm into my rides and the fun fair. However, coming to see everything else as part of the full package is fantastic here. I mean, just the smell of it here as well. Hey, <laughs> toot toot. Yeah, the smell of it, as I'm sure you can imagine. Amazing. Another field just over here as part of the 600 acre site, full of tractors and farming machinery. Incredible, we're seeing all this. And that's the thing, it brings so many people's interests all together as well. Whether it's classic cars, tractors, traction engines, or even funfair rides, it brings everything together, which is amazing. Everyone can just enjoy it and share each other's passions, which is fantastic. But what an amazing day I'm having so far here at the great Dorset Steam Fair for my first ever visit. So much going on all around, which is amazing. We're coming into the early evening now. I'm going to spend a bit of time just chilling out, maybe watch a little bit more entertainment. And then, yeah, of course, later on tonight, we're going to continue on taking you around. I think this place is going to look amazing with all the lights on. Uh, and, yeah, I cannot wait uh, to capture that awesome atmosphere tonight. So I'll see you a little bit later on when the sun starts going down here in sunny Dorset. A couple of hours have passed and I've explored more of this awesome steam fair. I tell you what, it's a gorgeous evening now as well with the sun going down here in Dorset. Well, yeah, the fun fair has got much busier now, so I'm just going to show you some off ride footage of some of the attractions they've got. Nice orbiter ride just there, of course, the Starflyer here. And yeah, the entertainment's all kicking in for the evening now as well. This is the main stage just over here. Yeah, going to be checking out a band on there later on. Yeah, what an atmosphere. As you probably noticed as well, it's a dog friendly event. So if you have got a puppy that you want to bring along, you can do. Woo, look at the reverse bungee in action just there as well with that beautiful blue sky just behind it. the rides here at the Great Dorset Steam Fair. There's a look at the Tagana in action. Yeah, had some good rides on these over the years. Shame Charlotte's not with me today. Oh, loving the moves there. <laughs> yeah, I definitely would have gone on with Charlotte. This is the quietest techno jump I think I've ever seen. Like, it's not making any noise at all. <laughs> Normally, of course, you can hear like all the air compressors lifting up the arms, but look at that. It's pretty much silent. Oh, that's amazing. What a gorgeous evening to be here. Oh, you wouldn't think it with the weather earlier on, but it's lovely. I've just had another ride over on the toboggan here as well, because why not? It's very unique and you never know when you're going to get to ride one of these things again. It's got to have been at least seven, eight years, maybe more than that, actually. Yeah, it's been way longer, actually, since I went on one of these. Crazy. <laughs> The Ulmer Helix just there, fantastic. Got a little runaway train coaster over here, and oh, that sun's going down now. Gorgeous night. Morning. Amazing. 
amazing vibes this evening and it's about to get even better as I take you all to see the world famous Wall of Death. Now it's a 15 minute show and it only costs three pounds to go in. So yeah, come and join me. I can film it as well. So I'm gonna put in some highlights for you all now of the Wall of Death. Wall of Death, 15 minute show, three pounds, and absolutely brilliant. If you're coming to this event, I definitely recommend seeing it. Or wherever you see the Wall of Death, go in there, give them some support. It's an absolutely epic show, it really is. Oh, well, next, then time for another ride here in the fun fair. I'm going on rock and roll that you can see behind me. Quite a unique ride, you don't see loads of these around. As you can see, the gondola spins upside down, and you've only got a lap bar. Let's go and ride. Here we go then, it's time to rock and roll, four pounds to rise. But again, you don't see these around very often. So I like to go on the rise, but you don't see that much out there, you know. Oh yeah, this is another one. I'm hoping to get some good spinning. I think because I'm on my own, hopefully, I'll get a good spin round still. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two. I'm ready, here we go. Well, no one else is spinning yet. I think he's just teasing us. <laughs> All the lights are really pretty though. That's the great thing about fun fairs at night. All the awesome lighting. Hey, there we go. And it's released. Woo! <laughs> oh my God. See how you've actually got on this. It's a little lap bar. Hey, Woo! Let's go, let's go, fast life. Here we go. <laughs> oh, boy, mate. Woo! <laughs> Woo! I tell you what, Charlotte would not like this. Woo! Oh, yeah. Ah! I'm looking at other ones over there. So we can see. I don't think they're spinning as fast. So, yeah, it's quite good on your own. Focus the weights on one side. Woo! <laughs> Oh god, it's so intense! Woo! Oh my god, this is crazy how intense this is! Woo! And just with a lap bar as well. About 50 inversions. What's up? We're gonna take you first to the start. See if I get ready for this. Here we go! Woo! We're taking us faster. I don't see how faster we can go. <laughs> Woo! Oh god, this is crazy! Woo! Oh! Oh, this has got to be one of the most intense rides in the country, this! Woo! Blimey! Da, 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 da. Oh, that was worth the four quid! Oh. Woo! If you like to ride the next one, move in, pay down for the next ride! Woo! Oh, I'm upside down! Oh, there we go! Well, that was super intense, really not for the faint-hearted, a brilliant ride. In first, it went a bit more relaxing. What about the three vintage rides that you can see over there? Yeah, just how I get this lovely shot because you've got all the steam, all the lights on, and all three rides running around just there with the Helter Skelter in the backdrop. <laughs> Wow. 
Well, this is where the magic of this event really is. On a night, all the lights coming on, all the traction engines just here. And of course, the rides all running there behind as well. Music in the background. What an ambience and a gorgeous evening for it as well. Yeah, these are beautiful. Even more so at night with all the festoon lights on there. Look at this. A real piece of history that's very important that is preserved for future generations to enjoy because there's certainly a lot of interest. Look at this. Forgive me, Delilah, I just couldn't take any more. Forgive me, Delilah, I just couldn't take any more. There's so much free entertainment going on, on an evening. I can really see why people would want to camp and soak it all up. And yeah, just really live the experience of all of this. It is fantastic. Another show going on just here as well. Got some pirates by the looks of it and some really cool lights. Oh, this is the stage I was at earlier on. Looks different at night. Look at that gorgeous sky. And over here at the outdoor Old Rosie stage now. Our live band's just on over here. Yeah, some great lighting. Well, it's coming towards the end of the night and my visit here to the great Dorset Steam Fair. So I'm just going to put in a few more shots capturing the awesome atmosphere before heading back to the car and wrapping up today's vlog. car then now after an absolutely phenomenal day here at the great Dorset Steam Fair. I've wanted to come here for a long time and I tell you what it certainly hasn't disappointed. The size of this event is overwhelming. There is so much going on and yeah I've packed in as much as I can do into this action-packed vlog all in one day. However I've covered 35,000 steps and obviously I've not really stopped. I've been very busy getting everything in so I definitely recommend if you want to see everything you need at least two maybe three days or of course do the full five days and do the camping here I mean they camp Tuesday to Tuesday uh, so you can pretty much stay the full week which is amazing obviously it'll cost you a fortune uh, in terms of buying everything here but you know what it's absolutely incredible it's a brilliant event just to split it down a bit of course the fun fair which was fantastic it's a shame that Rocket didn't come as was originally planned however getting on Toboggan was great that was definitely my favourite down there and along with that some of the other great rides that I've been on and the vintage fun fair is amazing Along with that, of course, seeing the traction engines, uh, the steam engines, the classic cars, motorbikes, uh, monster trucks, everything. It's been action-packed. There is so much going on here. And yeah, for the price I paid to get in, I feel like I've had crazy amount of value. Yes, I've spent extra on the rides and food, uh, but what you actually get included is amazing. I mean, going down the trench, that was really interesting earlier on. What a brilliant event. It's huge. It kind of feels a little bit like Glastonbury, but for steam fans, this place. It really is incredible. And just tonight, all the lights, um, 
hundreds, hundreds in tents everywhere, um, which is amazing. What a brilliant day. I've loved it. And I'll definitely be back next year here to the great Dorset Steam Fair. But uh, my trip down south continues. If you haven't already, check out the Creeley vlog from yesterday. And also, I'm heading to Weymouth tomorrow um, to go and do a few bits there. So that's going to be coming up next here on the channel. My final trip, really, of the summer period um, here in the UK. We've had a busy summer visiting attractions. And yeah, I'm going to be uh, down in Weymouth tomorrow. But uh, from the great Dorset Steam Fair, that leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you all in tomorrow's vlog.